It's time for Small Talk for You, Episode 3. This morning we're going to take a look at getting GLASS, which stands for Gemstone, Linux, Apache, Seaside, and Smalltalk, onto your system. I'm going to be installing it on OS X. It's going to work pretty much the same way for Linux, and you have to do a few downloads. You go to this website, seaside.gemstone.com slash downloads.html, and what you want to do is download this script, install gemstone.sh, and then just run it at a command line. That will get all of the gemstone stuff properly installed for you. Then you'll want to grab the one-click Faro image down here. I've already done that, so I'm not going to have you watch me download, but I've downloaded and installed all of that. That's just a matter of executing a few things at the command line and downloading this thing. Once you've done all of that, what you want to do is take a look in here, and you'll see that I'm in Op Gemstone product, and if I look at bin, you'll see there's a bunch of stuff there. Now, it can be confusing to try to figure out what to do. James Foster from Gemstone was kind enough to help me with this and get me through a few problems. What I'm going to do is CD to my local directory to show you how to get things started. So let's go to this directory I set up, and we'll do a more on this script that I wrote, if I can spell it. So here it is, and what I'm doing is I'm sourcing this file. This is a little script they set up. All it does is set up environment variables. Then I can CD into the appropriate directory and start the net LDI, which is basically the gemstone listener. This part, minus G minus A, and my username on this Mac is the important part. There's a bunch of security set up in gemstone. If you're just experimenting, you don't want to be concerned with that. So this kind of works around that and says just make sure everything works for this user. Then you want to start up the stone, and again, that download that I showed you a moment ago, that actually has all of that stuff set up, you just have to start it up. So let's do that, dot slash start gs, and you'll get a bunch of stuff coming up there in the console that tells me everything's running, so my seaside is running, the gemstone listener is running, so that's all set. Now once you've got that, what you do is you find your gem tools Faro one-click image that you downloaded, which this is it, so I'll double click on this, and it'll give me the warning about having downloaded this from the internet, so I'll go ahead and say OK. Now, moving this out of the way, you see everything's almost set up, but if you just click this button here and then go log in, it's going to error out on you. And the reason it's going to error out is that we haven't got the basic login properly set up. If you look at the message text here, it's going to tell you that it's unable to create the, the host is wrong because we've set this up as glass. So let's close that. What I need to do is edit this a bit. And all I really need to do is come in here and say, well, I'm not on a host called Glass. I'm on a host here called Localhost, and that'll work fine for most circumstances. They'll say, OK, that'll save it. Now if I log in, you're going to see that it's going to work. It's going to take it a bit. It's going to ask me for a name. I'll put in mine, James Robertson. Hit OK. And now I'm connected to Gemstone. I'm working in my one-click Faro image, and I can get started on a Seaside Faro Glass project. So that's about it. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.